Imagine you own a furniture store. You receive an order for 50 chairs from your customer. As a business owner, you would raise an invoice detailing all the items to be sold, their price, quantity, payment due date and share it with your customer to initiate payment. This financial document which you send to your customer is called an invoice. This is how invoicing works. You first create an invoice, send it to your customer and then you get payment from them either in person or online. Finally, you record the payment and mark the invoice as paid. We'll learn about the invoices module in Zoho Invoice. In this video, let's see how you can create an invoice. Log in to your Zoho Invoice account. Go to the invoices module. Click the plus icon next to invoices. Choose the customer that you wish to share the invoice with. The invoice number is auto-generated. You can also choose to add it manually by clicking the gear icon. Enter the order number for the invoice. Choose the desired payment terms. The payment terms helps you avoid delays in payment collection which directly impacts the business's cash flow. The due date will be automatically filled once you set the payment terms. If you wish to set a custom date for your invoice, choose this option. You can enter the subject to let your customers know what this invoice is for. Add items to the invoice and select the appropriate tax rates. Add discounts and shipping charges if you would like to. You can also add customer notes, terms and conditions, if any. If you wish to configure online payments for this customer, click here to view the payment gateway options for this invoice. To attach files to this invoice, click upload files and save the invoice. You have successfully created your first invoice. In case you already have a list of invoices that you wish to import to Zoho Invoice, you can click the more icon and select import invoices. You will be asked to follow a format to import the invoices in Zoho Invoice. To quickly create an invoice, click the quick create icon in the dashboard. Let's record payment for the invoice. Once you have successfully created an invoice and shared it with your customer, an email notification will be sent to them requesting payment. If you have configured payment gateways to receive online payments from your customer, then the customer can pay you from the portal. However, if the customer pays you offline, you can manually record the payment as well. To do so, go to the invoices module in the sidebar and select the invoice that you wish to record payment for. Click record payment, verify the details and add notes if required. Click record payment to confirm action. The payment for the invoice is now recorded. You can go to the payments received module to view all the payments. You can also edit the payments and delete from here. Let's look into the functions that can be performed upon an invoice. You can edit the invoice send it through email or SMS, share it via public or private links, download and print. You can click the more icon and select make recurring if you wish to make this invoice recur over a certain period. You can also generate debit and credit notes, clone or delete or make the invoice void. Voiding an invoice will cancel the invoice without deleting it, thereby keeping the data for any upcoming audits. You can add comments if required. You can also edit and manage your invoice templates using the customize option. To configure the settings for this invoice, click the more icon and select invoice preferences. You can now configure the details according to your business's requirement and click save. And that brings us to the end of the video. We hope you have got a good understanding of how you can create an invoice. 
and the various functions that can be performed upon it. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support at the rate zohoinvoice.com. If you find this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get further updates from us. Thank you.